Hello everyone, this is Prodigious TCC, that's Prodigious a Trading Card Collector, and today I'm making a deck out of a booster box. So I've already kind of sorted the cards and I've gone through them and whatnot. So what I have decided right now is anything that I already have a deck of, I'm not going to make another deck of. So Kuro, Iceberg, and Nami, not making a deck of them. So with that being said, the purple and blue cards, they're going into the box. Can't use them. No point in having them there. Uh, next up is I counted cards. So red cards here, I have, I have 49. So I'm one off from making a red deck. What a pain in the arse, right? So red deck, that goes away. I have 46 black cards, so I can't use the black Rob Lucci. So away it goes. So I'm basically left with a yellow uh, Katakuri deck because I've got like 54, 56 cards of just straight up yellow. I've got a black yellow Charlotte Linden, and I've got a green yellow Arlong. So those are the three decks I could possibly make. DK just made a booster box Arlong deck, so I'm going to take it out of the running. I'm going to make an Arlong deck at some point, but I'm taking it out of the running. I'm also taking Charlotte Katakuri out of the running because I believe with 56 cards, 54 cards, 56 cards, you're not, I'm not really getting the best chance that I can get with these cards. Having a dual color leader, a big mom dual color leader, lets me pull from... 46 cards and 54 cards or whatever it is i have much higher range of possibility of getting something good like making something at least adequate so what i'm thinking of doing is i've also semi-sorted these cards into cards that seem interesting to me i'm thinking of making some sort of cp9 big mom deck type thing um because i really like this bluno Dawn won this, ooh, I'll bring it up right there. Dawn won this character gains blocker on KO, play up to one character card with a type including CP at a cost of four or less from your trash rested. So I can get the Fukuro back if I did it that. I can get Fukuro, Fukuro back. Um, all of these are okay. They are... Uh, they're all CP9, four or less cost. Uh, they got a thousand counters, so I can use them to counter, put them in the um, trash. Bluno gets uh, knocked out. I can bring out a Kumidori 6,000 cost for free type thing, right? So that may be an option as well. Um, I, so I've got two of these, two of these. I like the Six King Pistol. It's a counter. Trash one card from your hand, so I could get rid of a Fukuro or a CP9 card, so that when the Bluno goes out, I can grab those and put them up there. Um, up to one of your leader or character cards gains plus 3,000 during this battle, so it's a pretty good counter. Also, Rob Lucci. On play, I may place two cards with a type including CP, so I can put any of my CP9 cards back uh, at the bottom of my deck. This character gains rush during this turn. So I got one of them, uh, 2000 counter, this character cannot be KO'd in battle. I mean, it's kind of cool. Uh, Jabra is too expensive. Then I've got some Navy cards in here. Uh, don't think I'm really doing anything with cost. So I'm going to get rid of those guys. Like I'm not using any of these guys. Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm still kind of feeling out seeing what I am dealing with spam dam if your leader cp uh look at three on play if your leader type includes cp charlotte pudding does not or, or sorry uh, charlotte linlin does not have cp in it so there's no point in running a spam dam other than the fact that it has a counter on it i guess like really that's the only thing and all this stuff needs your leader to have cp in it so uh if your leader includes CP, look at the, yeah. So really, I think maybe these are the only black cards that I'm considering at the moment. Um, maybe Isho just because, and maybe I'll throw the Jabbers down just because they are um, five seven, right? So that's pretty, 
Five cost 7,000, that's not bad. I've got a full playset of those. But th those are probably the only black cards I'm even considering. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, so let me read you Charlotte Linlin's ability. Charlotte Linlin says, Dawn one when attacking, rest two Dawn. I may trash one card from my hand. If I have one or less life cards, add up to one card from the top of your deck to the top of your life card. So I can, um, for four Dawn, basically, I can get rid of maybe a CP card, depending, um, and then I can add a life on. So I'm sitting at two or something like that. Uh, so that's the ability. So I've got roughly, big air quotes here, roughly. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-four 20, 20, 24 cards. I'm not going to put all of these in. Um, I really don't think like they'd be good for, I think the only ones I'd want to put in probably would be the, um, Kumidori because they can be used. They can be used with um, the Blue Nose ability. So maybe Nero and Kumidori. The other ones are just not worth it. So Fukuro, so these ones are possibilities, blockers. Um, it's a mess right now. But let's look at the yellow cards and see what I, I'm going to play the Pear Sparrow. On KO, look at three cards from the top of your deck. Reveal up to one Big Mom Pirate type card and add it to your hand, and then place the rest at the bottom of your deck in any order. Three cost, 5,000. It's got a trigger. Um, so that's an option right there. I've got Sanji. Dawn 2 when attacking. I'm probably going to stay in this area, so let's zoom in a little bit. Ooh, let's turn this light on as well. Boom. Okay. Got ourselves a Sanji here. Uh, you may add one card from the top or bottom of your life cards to your hand. Add up to one card from the top or bottom uh, of... Add up to one card from the top of your deck to the top or bottom of your life card. So it's good. Um, if I can see my cards, I'd be able to... Like, this doesn't have a trigger. Get rid of this. Put this on top kind of thing. So that's an option. Um... Draw three cards, trash two cards from your hand. Maybe Thunderbolts. You may trash one card from the top of your life. Cards KO up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of five or less. Maybe. Uh, I'm just going to just quickly go through these. Blocker, nice. Struzen's nice. I'm just going to mess around with this a little bit. Probably off camera. Um, and then we'll come back and look at it. All right, so I've gone through some of these cards and I've kind of sorted out what I think I'm wanting. Um, I'm gonna take probably these King Bombs. Um, they've got a trigger, which I may be using for Charlotte Oven's ability, which is I may trash one card with a trigger from my hand. This character gains 3000 power during the battle. Um, and also if I need to, I can use it to kind of get my life down to use her ability. Uh, these Shirley's are pretty nice. Blocker on play. Look at up to one card from the top of your or your opponent's life cards. Oops, it'd be better if I had it in view, wouldn't it? There we go. Um, place it top or bottom. So this way I can look at my life cards for the manipulation and be like, okay, keep that card on the top. And then I can get rid of it to put something else because it doesn't have a trigger or something like that. So there may be option. Uh, I can add one card from the top or bottom of my life cards to my hand. This character gains plus 2,000 power during battle. It's just an option if I know that the top card isn't a trigger. I can add it to my hand for that ability. Um, and then this one, I may add one card from or add one card from the top or bottom of my life card. Add one card from the top of my deck to the top of my life cards. Sanji's pretty good that way. Uh, oven, use it, get rid of some trigger cards that I have to pump these two up. Napoleon's nice because activate main. I may rest this card up to one of your focus, please. One of your Charlotte Linland cards gains a thousand power until the start of your next turn. So I can increase uh, either the Charlotte Linlin care or leader card, or I do have one 10 drop. Um, got that one 
10 drop Charlotte Linlin card right there, which could bring it up to 13 or 14 if I get both of them on the field kind of thing. So, I mean, on play, so definitely putting this in. Uh, on play, if your leader has the big mom pirates type, which she does, add up to one card from the top of your deck to the top of your life cards, then trash up to one card from the top of your opponent's life cards. So add a life, trash an opponent's life, big uh, big swing kind of thing. Uh, Tropical Torment is kind of nice. It is main. Uh, if your opponent has four or more life cards, trash up to one card from the top of your opponent's life cards. Um, I only have put two of them in. I think I have a pl full play set because really first two turns kind of thing like you're not going to be able to play it more than you're not going to play it very often so really maybe play it once or twice twice maximum obviously um we've got thunder bolt you may trash one cover from the top of your uh life ko up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of five or less uh, i can drop my life down so that i can use charlotte Lynn Lynn's ability also get rid of some pesky cards that i don't really want which is pretty good um i've got an ikoku sovereignty which is a counter uh up to one of your leader cards gains uh, or characters gains plus five thousand nice uh buzz cut mochi if you have less life cards in your opponent ko ko up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of four or less i wish i had more of these but i only pulled one um, definitely going to play the Cracker Dawn 1. If you have less life cards than your opponent, this character gains a double attack and plus 1,000 power. I'm hoping to have less life and then keep kind of bouncing up and down kind of thing. That's the plan for that. Uh, Paris Barrow I'm going to put in. I wish I had a regular one, <laughs> not the alt art, but you got to do what you got to do. Two puddings to look at four cards from the top of your deck. Reveal up to one Sanji or Big Mom Pirates type card other than Charlotte Pudding and add it to your hand and place the rest at the bottom of any order. So not bad. And then two Struzin. I might trash one card with trigger from your hand. KO up to one of your opponent's characters with cost of one or less. So this is a nice play one. Um, trash a trigger. Get rid of something I don't want uh, them to have. Or... Um, you know, it's kind of it's kind of early game. Get rid of something. Um, not bad. So let's see how many uh, these cards I have. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. So I have twenty-six cards. So when I had twenty-six and twenty-four, that would literally equal out to fifty. Uh, let me just double count some of these. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So it's nineteen and twenty six is forty five. So I have five more cards to play with. Let me just, yeah, because the Nero's are good 1,000 counters, and then they can also be used by Blue Nose ability. Same with Kumidori, they are 1,000 counters, but can be used with Blue Nose ability to come back out. Uh, Fukuro blocker can't be, um, 1,000 counter can't be KO'd by effects. Blocker, which again can be brought out by Blue Nose ability. Um, 5,000, 5,000, 2,000 counter though, which is nice, or 5 cost, 5,000, 2,000 counter, can't be KO'd in battle, Rob Lucci is nice, I can move any of these, except any of these cards, or even my, um, even some of these trigger card or these uh, event cards, back to the bottom of my deck to give it rush if I wanted to, these are nice Counter cards, Blue Nose Blocker, bring things out. Jabra's a five, cost 7,000. They're not bad. Maybe I'll see if I can find any more 2,000 counters. That would be nice. I'm just going to quickly scan through any of these. Okay, so we got a Khalifa that has a 2,000 counter. Uh, and once its ability, uh, her ability is on a play, draw two cards and trash two cards from your hand, then give up to one of your... So I'm just going to use this as a 2k counter, I think. So I've got two 2k counters. How many 1k counters do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's a nice, nice chunk of these black cards are all 1Ks. And I think I got two 2Ks. There's another 2K. There's two 2Ks right there. One, one, nothing. One. Two K, two K, one thousand, 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 one thousand. That's not bad. So I do have a, a few two K counters, which are nice. Um, some Strusens would be even better because they're two Ks, which is really nice. One costs. If you don't really use them in the beginning of the game, because that's really all you can use them for in the beginning of the game, they're really nice to just. Um, to just get rid of like just two Ks there, so. That's not bad. And then I think I believe those Sanjis were 2Ks. Yes, yeah, so I got two 2Ks there. So I got two, four, I got six 2K counters, which is not the worst thing ever. Um, all right, I'm going to count again. I'm going to look through the piles. I'm going to see if I can get roughly 50 cards. Four more cards. Um, so four cards. How many block I've got what one, two, three, four. I've got four blockers from here, because I've got the two Fukuro and the two Bluno. Um, and then here I've got one, two, three. So that's three. So that's seven blockers. I don't think that's too bad. I could go for a couple more blockers maybe, but I don't think so. I got a full play set of uh, Gillette, so that's nice if I need blockers. Um, I could also look for trigger cards to be able to get uh, use for Charlotte Oven. Get rid of a trigger card from your hand. How many ovens do I have? I think I've got, I think they're right at the back there. Two. Uh, trash one. Trigger card from your hand, gain 3,000. So, how many trigger cards do I have is a question. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, that's 14 trigger cards for yellow. Uh, I don't think I have any well 15 16 yeah so 16 trigger cards that's more than enough for that so i don't think i'm looking for anything with trigger um maybe her just so i have some draw support that those are vanillas 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 trash one card from the top or bottom of your life add up to one card from the top or bottom from your deck to the top and bottom of your life. That's interesting. I just don't like the fact that I have to trash a card for the Charlotte Chiffon, who's married to Beje, apparently, and they have a, a grandchild or a child, and it's Charlotte Lynn. I was look, I watched a little video talking about all of uh, Charlotte Lynn's kids, and there's like a crap ton of them. So maybe a Charlotte Chiffon or two. It's kind of like, it's kind of like um, Sanji, but worse, right? Because Sanji has the ability to add that card to your hand instead of trashing it. All right, anything else in this navy deck or in the black? Got more CP cards, but I don't think I need them. Set the cost of up to one of your opponent's characters with no base effect. Eh. Look at five cards from the top of your deck and trash up to two cards and place the rest. No. I mean, that would be okay because you could trash your CPs, but not really uh, Navy cards. I don't really have any Navy cards except for Virgo, Soap Sheet, not really. I mean, Tempest Kick, but if I want to put Tempest Kick in, I have to put more things in that reduce the, K the cost because it's KO up to, uh, up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of zero from or your opponent's stage cards with cost of three or less. It just doesn't really seem to... Uh, and then these ones are if your leader has CP. If your leader has... Yeah, okay, so... I think it's really up to... It's gonna be one of these either more blockers. 
So it's either blockers. Cause I got four blockers. I think I'm gonna put this in just so I have the ability to draw some more cards. If need be, draw three cards and trash two cards from your hand. This way, at least I have the ability to maybe get an extra card. So put that in. So I need to grab three more cards. So what I think I may do is I may grab because I only have two. I'm gonna maybe I'll grab two Charlotte chiffons and then one Charlotte galette. So I have another blocker in there and it's plus one thousand counter. So roughly, this is a very rough deck. I'll tell you that right now. Cause I don't think I want any more of these. I think mainly all of these are just vanillas. Um, do I want any more of these? These aren't useful. The uh, tropical torments aren't useful to have at the beginning, more than after the beginning. It's just not worth it. Uh, trash one card within the top of your life. K up to one your opponent's characters with a cost of five or less. Thunderbolt's not bad. It does let me, but it just, cause I think I've got two Thunderbolts in. Let me just double check. One, two, I've got two Thunderbolts in. So maybe what I'll do is I will go for one more Thunderbolt, one more blocker, and then one Charlotte Chiffon. Go like that. Okay. So let's double check that I have 50 cards. So that is 50 cards. It's a 50 card deck. That is exactly what that is. Um, do I want anything else from these cards? I don't, I don't really think I've got any other, like I, it's really now nitpicking of, do I want two of these, three of these, do I want one of these kind of thing, right? So I ha only have one of these. I mean, I could get rid of some Jabber if I wanted, but they're nice five cost seven but I don't know what I'd put in there instead. Um, two Bluno, two Six Pistols, one Raw Blue Cheek, because that's all I got, one Virgo, two Fukuru, and then a bunch of these Nero's and uh, Kumidori that can be used with Blue Nose ability if need be, and they're just nice 1,000 Vanillas. So those Vanillas are nice because they work with Blue Nose ability, whereas the yellow um, Vanillas don't really do anything other than be a vanilla in my hand. Blocker, Thunderbolt, Chiffon. So draw a card, uh, manipulate life, get rid of a car, or your opponent's card at a cost of your life. Blocker, um, 2000 counter, and I'm probably only gonna use them for 2000 counter. The Struzen, I don't really think I'm gonna use them for anything else. Just seems like the best option there. Searcher card, uh, searcher card on KO, plus thousand power, double attack, um, KO one of your opponent's characters, counter KO characters, get rid of your opponent's life. A big arse card, what am I gonna say? That's just, just, just a big card. <laughs> um, three cost, 5,000, has a trigger so I can either play it or I can get rid of it for Charlotte Oven. Uh, Sanji is life manipulation and 2000 counter. Uh, Charlotte smoothie is just get rid of one of your life cards and extra power, uh, blocker and look at your life card so you can figure out what you want to do with it. Napoleon is good for bumping up either the leader or the other Charlotte Linlin card I have and Charlotte oven is the ability to be a strong card. I think that's probably as good as I'm going to get making this from a booster box. I mean, I would love some more Charlotte puddings, some more Sanji's, uh, more 2k counters, lots more cards, uh, more crackers, all that kind of stuff. But really, I'm limited to what I pulled and I think that's probably right now the a lot of vanillas are the best bet I can do looking at my yellow cards lots of vanillas in there and then the black cards have a lot of vanillas but also a lot of cards that are either navy or uh, leader CP only so I think this is really my best bet my only other thing of thinking is putting in Isho, eight costs, 9,000, Dawn one, give your opponent character minus three costs, which really doesn't do anything for this deck. But if your opponent has six or more cards in their hand, trash two cards from your opponent's hand. So, um, 
that's an option too. I may swap something out for that. It, uh, it just hit hard, swings well. Um, I'll throw, I'll get rid of a Jabra and I'll put the Isho in. There we go. I think that's really the best I can do with what I'm given. I hope it's good enough to defeat um, DK, one of DK's booster box decks, but I mean, until I play, there's no way of knowing. So I'm going to sleeve this up, throw it in a deck box, and then I will take on DK and we'll see who wins. But um, let me know what you think of the deck. Let me know what changes you would have made, what cards you would have swapped out instead. Do you think I made the right choice picking Charlotte Linlin? Should I went? Should I have gone for Arlong instead? I just don't want to step on DK's toes with Arlong since he just got made one himself. Uh, anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. My name has been Prodigious TCC. That's Prodigious Trading Card Collector. And until I see you next time, have a fantastic day.